Hi, this is a video to show you how to set up PyCharm so that you will have a good experience for the SDAM module. If you haven't installed PyCharm yet, then please follow the guidance that is given on Blackboard, install it, and then come back to this video. When you have installed PyCharm, you'll find it in the Start menu under JetBrains, and then you can click on PyCharm. Alternatively, you could start typing PyCharm, PY usually is enough, and then select the option here, PyCharm. If you get the message telling you that you need to activate it, it might be that you need to run the VPN client so that you can connect to the university's VPN and then start PyCharm again. Then it will pick up the correct settings. When you begin with PyCharm, you'll want to create a new project and select Pure Python and also the location for that project. Now, wherever you put it is up to you, but then put in the name of the module, SDAM. You should try to avoid having spaces in this name because sometimes spaces can cause problems. And then when you have got the location as you want it, click the Create button. This will then set up that folder. It will also create a virtual environment, which is being shown here. That virtual environment will be set up in that location that you have just defined. And when that's finished, you can close the tip of the day box and you're ready to begin your work. So here is the name of the project, SDAM. You can see its location here. And if we drop that down, you can see that the virtual environment has been set up in here as well. I recommend that you are systematic about the way that you organize your work for this module. And so I suggest something like this. Right click on SDAM, select new directory, and then create the directory name to represent the week for the work that you are doing. And then all the tasks that you do for week one will go inside this folder. We can right click on week one, select new Python file. Again, I recommend that you have one Python file for each task. And again, I think it is best that you avoid using spaces. So I've used an underscore here instead of a space. And so we have in this window here, our editor where we can type Python commands and then we're ready to run. When you want to run it for the first time, we'll need to add a configuration. So click on that button, then click on the plus button, come down to Python and select that. And the next thing we need to do is in script path, select the task file that we want to execute. So that's task1.py. You'll notice that the Python interpreter is the one that was set up in the virtual environment when first we created the project. When that is done, you can click on the OK button and that has established the configuration for task one. So you could click on this play button here and it will run task one. There it is, there's the output. Now let's say you have a second task for week one. We can click on new Python file this time, I'm going to give the name week one underscore task two, because there'll be lots of task one and task two files. So by putting the week in front of it, we can establish more easily by the name of the file, which week each task belongs to. And then we can start typing our Python commands. Now I'm not going to be very adventurous here, but it will serve the purpose. So that's now ready to run. But if I click on here, it's going to run task one. If I drop this down, task two is not there yet. So what I'm going to do instead is come to the run menu and then come down to run. This will then allow me to select the task two file and it has run it as you can see down here. And over here in this button, we can now run task one again if we want. By selecting task one and hit the play button, you can see task one has run or we could go back to task two and run that again. 
task two. Let's do a third one. Week one underscore task three. And again, click on the run menu, select run, choose task three, and we can see that it has already run down here. When it comes to the following week's work, you can right click on SDAM, select new directory and type week underscore two. Week one's work is still there, but it's just been collapsed. And so right click on week two, new Python file, week two underscore task one, print week two, task one, and again, select run, run, week two, task one. And that's the way you continue all the way through the first semester of SDAM. And you'll see that all your work is organized week by week. And by choosing meaningful names, you're able to easily to distinguish all of those separate tasks. I hope that's been of use. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always contact your SDAM practical tutor. Have fun.